Welcome back to Sky Factory 3, everybody. I'm your host, Lovey Dioko. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you're doing well today. I've got some corn. I'm doing all right. Since the last episode, I've been a busy little beaver. I've been expanding the platform further down the spiral for your entertainment and edification. Uh, in preparation for today's episode, I went ahead and I've made a bigger bank of lava generators. We're producing more lava, producing more power, storing more power in a bigger capacitor bank. All in anticipation of having uh, some machines that we're going to need power running here real soon. Actually, there's a few going on already, and I'll go show you that in a minute. Uh, I like to make uh, ridiculously oversized capacitor banks, so uh, look forward to that. <laughs> I, 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 I made this little area a little bit homier. I think it's kind of cozy now. I don't, I don't feel like I need a roof. And uh, I'll probably abandon it pretty soon because uh, the base is going this way, as you can see. This corn, guys, I don't know. <laughs> you see how I can harvest the corn off the top here? Keep an eye on that. You'll see something kind of silly happen over time. Uh, let's see here. So since last episode, like I said, I've expanded the platform down here a bit. I've got a lot more work to do, obviously, but that's a, that's a pretty good start, I think. Uh, I've got a nice little scene here, a little tableau I set up with uh, some of that stuff that I sifted out of the nether rack, the crushed nether rack, uh, a few episodes ago. But uh, here's where we're going uh, today. So I'm tired of hammering and sifting by hand. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, as you see, I've got this little, uh, this little conveyor, uh, not a conveyor, but I've got this little, uh, you know, factory thingy going on here, and I'll explain what's going on to you here in uh, just a second. Uh, but we need some sieves, and here they are, conveniently enough. And I've got my meshes, and I've got some item conduits, and some flat transfer nodes, and energy conduits, and oh my goodness, all sorts of good stuff. And uh, not sure, let's grab some packing tape just in case. Uh, funny story about the packing tape here. Let's just take a, a quick, a quick aside. Just a quick aside here. So the packing tape. Um, this is why there's a pond here because I needed packing tape. I wanted packing tape. I wanted to move this drawer full of stone from up there down to here and I didn't want to break it and move it all by hand so I wanted to make packing tape so uh, to make packing tape you need a slime ball one way to get a slime ball is to fish up a jellyfish and I thought hey that sounds fun so I spent four minecraft days four guys four four where are you at there you are four four minecraft days fishing up a stupid jellyfish one jellyfish I might add to make one slime ball and then of course the other thing that you need is paper and what is the one magic plant in this game that you can make slime balls and paper from? It's rice. <laughs> I could have just planted some rice and made a slime ball. Or, or even faster, I could have just broke the silly drawer and moved all of it by hand. It probably would have taken me like no more than three minutes. <laughs> so, you know, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Time management is not always my forte. What can I say? Ah, let's see. This stuff is taking up valuable real estate, though. It's not really farmland down here, so let's get rid of that. I'll just uh, get rid of all that for right now. Oh, you know, I saw something up here I wanted to, wanted to talk to you about real quick, so we'll just uh, take care of that while I am up here. And is that corn? Need to be cooked. Ooh, bread. Exciting. Um... That's what barley will get you. I want to go over here real quick. So to make the item conduits that I needed, I needed to make some end stone because I needed to make ender pearls. And you can make ender pearls by uh, sifting uh, crushed end stone. So I needed to make end stone. So that's what this is over here. I am going to make this a gazillion times more stylish though right now. So let's see, is there anything in here? No, okay. So what happens basically to make end stone is you push lava into a barrel, or you put lava in a barrel. I'm pushing it in there from the crucibles. Uh, and then you push glowstone uh, into the barrel, and that'll make end stone. And then the, the, the end stone is being pushed into this chest with this flat transfer node. And that's I have another flat transfer node that I want to use right now. So I'm going to do that. And because I've learned this a few times, <laughs> I'm going to cover this just in case it starts raining. Because uh, there is a really slim chance that be if it's raining out between the time this thing empties a lava and before it fills back up, that'll start filling with rain, and then it won't fill with lava at all. So 
We'll do that. Hopefully that won't burn. If it does, I'll replace it. Anyway, here, here's what we're going to do. Um, oh, you know what? We need to actually move this. I need to move this because I need to get that out of the way so I can actually put that on there. There, there's the flat transfer node. Uh, and then I guess for that matter, I'll need to move this one as well. I can put the barrel back in there and then I can put the flat transfer node on there and I can put the chest on there and boom, there we go. Awesome. That's much more compact. Uh, and let's, let's see if we can see an action. Do I have glowstone here? I do. Oops. Sorry. Uh, I definitely don't need that much end stone. Yay. There we go. And boom. Got end stone making. Uh, some possum and uh, you know, that's uh, that's kind of the remnants of the clay machine that used to be over here So let's 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 update the sign. I'm gonna set the color I'm gonna say cross out and I'm gonna say clay machine because that's what used to be here I'm giving a nice little drop shadow Isn't that pretty down here. I'm gonna say um, uh, Orange and bold and stone and give it a drop shadow and then here you can make it bigger which is kind of cool I'm gonna scooch it back up there and then let's see we'll use the same color maybe not bold though we'll say machine a little bit bigger maybe yeah there we go and then um, let's see what it, what did I have last time I had uh, turquoise and it probably doesn't matter really <laughs> I'm being overly particular no, let's see. Add glowstone. There we go. And scoot you down just a little bit. Boom. There we go. Oh, look at that. All right. Now, now I won't be confused when I come over here. I'll know what it is, and I know what it, what to do with it. <laughs> okay. All right. That's enough of, of a tangent there. This platform down here is going to get bigger. Actually, it's going to go out more, or at least it's going to go. Uh, down and out more. It's gonna get, it's gonna be a lot bigger. So this is where a lot of them, uh, like the heavy lifting machines, are gonna be. Or at least the first round of heavy lifting machines, alloy smelters, that kind of stuff. So I want to use this side over here for some storage drawers. And I I did a little testing uh, prior to the episode to make sure these things wouldn't burn <laughs> if they were that close to lava, and they seem to be okay. And. Oops, there we go. All right, I'm not sure exactly how many we're going to need. I think it's about that many. Uh, but what these are going to do, these are going to catch the drops from uh, the sifting that we do over here. Um, that's going to be where clay goes, and it'll be, I'll, I'll worry about how we're going to make that later, but just, I know it's going to go there. And then we have all of our representative blocks along here. So let me tell you real quick how this is working. So underneath this uh, drawer right here is a cobble generator, and it's with a flat transfer node on top of it. So it's pushing cobble into this uh, drawer. Uh, if you were to just put a chest on top of the generator or a crate, it would push it up there automatically, but it doesn't do that with the drawer, so I'm using the flat transfer node under there. In fact, I think you can see it if I do this. Yeah, there we go. Uh, then, as you can see, I have flat transfer nodes on top of these drawers, and that's important. I'll tell you about that here right now. So, um, this transfer node is pulling up cobble, and it's putting half of it in this furnace, which is turning it into stone, uh, and it's putting half of it into this auto hammer where it's being crushed down into gravel. Uh, it is being pulled out of the back of this drawer, the gravel that is, and put into this hammer where it's being crushed into sand, and it goes from there to there where it's being crushed into dust. And then the dust will go into a thing that turns it into clay, and that'll go in there. This is how this works back here, and this is going to be really interesting for people who aren't real comfortable or familiar using Ender IO conduits or you know, relatively uh, not terribly advanced, but uh, more than simply mundane uses and so here's here's the drawer with gravel in it uh, if you'll notice I've set the mode to extract and I've changed this channel here you just click on it and you can change the color I've changed it to brown now if you look up here to this auto hammer you'll see it's the mode is inserting inserting and it's inserting on the brown channel uh, so gravel's going from there to there and if I uh, when we set up the sifters the sieves which we're gonna do right now <laughs> I'm gonna do that let's just go ahead and do that uh, we're gonna need a conduit there and there there and there um, and let's see we'll put our sifter I want to do them this way so they're looking at me when I'm standing in there right yeah there we go Ooh, who's that blay 
Oh my goodness, where's your eye? Creepy, creepy Japanese schoolgirl. And put her to work. All right. Oh, fireball. And oh man, no thanks. <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. Ladies, welcome. Let me put you to work here in just a minute. Uh, they're going to need power. Uh, oops, I'm going to run out of conduit. And that's why I'm cooking up more conductive iron up there. I knew this was going to happen. Uh, anyway, okay, so what's going to happen is I'm going to set this channel right here to insert on brown. And then once we get this hooked up over here, it will pull gravel out of there. And as well, it'll put it in there. And it will also put it in there. So uh blay blay is going to be sifting up gravel for us and then we'll have fireball doing sand and then dustine will hey dustine she'll be doing dust that's appropriate okay so i'm going to hook this up and uh whoa i'm going to hook this up i'll get the rest of the conduit that we need um I'm probably gonna need more item conduit too so good thing I'm making up that end stone up there I will make a drawer controller to put in there and uh, and then we'll, we'll go from there we'll, we'll pick it up there so let me take care of that and I'll be right back need to connect those up and we should see uh, we should see extracting never active oh always active sorry that one's set? Okay, that one's set. All right, do we have dust in here now? Dust, sand, gravel. Yay, now we just need to make power. Oops, that's uh, that's what happens when you hold down shift. <laughs> we don't want that. All right. Now you guys getting... Yes, awesome. They are working. Cool, there we go. So we've got... Hello. We've got uh, auto smashing and auto sifting started, and that is... Uh, that's fantastic. So now we need to do something with these drops. And that is where the storage drawer controller is going to come in handy. And I just just need to wait until I sift up some redstone before I can finish that. <laughs> so uh, let's see. In the meantime, though, we can make... Uh, a, we need to make a compressor. Auto compressor. And not sure if uh, one is uh, sufficient or not. So I think I'm going to make a few. Boom, there we go. All right, three auto compressors. I believe that the power is running right underneath this one, I think. Yeah, there we go. The item conduit needs to come down. What am I banging on here? Uh, item conduit's going to need to go this way. Yeah, so let's go down that way. Bring it under there. Right? Yeah. Um, is that a pull from that way? Okay, yeah, let's bring this back over here. I see you down there. And before we lose conduit to the void, <laughs> let me just let me just close up that scary, scary gap there. Okay, we're gonna lay our item conduit down in here. Cool, and then all we need is the storage drawer controller once I finally get uh, some more redstone so uh, in the meantime though we can go ahead and put these compressors in uh, I'm just going to uh, cluster the compressors around this uh, bit of conduit right here because it'll get me three item conduits and three power connections all with a minimal amount of space so okay so before we start putting stuff in here though what we want to do is we want to blacklist uh, I have some right here Glowstone and diamonds. I don't want those to be compressed. Diamonds because I just, I never use blocks of diamond for anything, so it doesn't seem to make any sense to have them compressed. And then glowstone because uh, I'll need the glowstone dust way more than I'll need, uh, you know, glowstone blocks. So I'm going to blacklist those. And what that means is that they won't go into the compressor, uh, even though uh, they are compressible. So, and it just so happens, lucky me, that I have three filters already cool okay now I can switch it over to insert but I actually want to do insert I want to do in out because we're also going to pull stuff out of these compressors once they're you know uh, compressed <laughs> so uh, oh wait a minute I did do that wrong never mind sorry I gotta do it this way cool and we're gonna do it on the green channel uh, which is kind of the default channel let's see let's grab there we go okay so now 
I can go up here and I can go to in out mode. So we're going in on brown, putting our gravel in, and then we're going to extract on green. We just need to say always active. Um, and actually, you know, I think I'm going to want to come back at some point and I'm going to want to put redstone controls on these. So I'm going to change this to active without signal so that it'll, it'll keep working for now. But as soon as I rig up a, a redstone contraption, if I turn that on, uh, it will shut all this down and it may never get shut down. It may run forever in perpetuity, but um, we'll have the option. Okay, and let's see, we just need to finish changing these guys to active without signal. Now you are doing... Alright, see how it's pulling stuff out? We should find it in here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Why are you all going into the same one? Okay, that's working. Uh, you know, I could see this being a bit of a problem, actually. Uh, so I've turned these off. Uh, the extraction off. I'm going to let these sieves build up some, uh, accumulate some of their drops uh, so we can see exactly what we need. And then I'll take these filters. Instead of blacklisting these things, I'll just whitelist the uh, items for each one of these compressors that I want to, uh, that I want to, want to do. So, like, you know, iron, all of the iron will go into one and all of the gold will go into one, etc., etc., etc. And let's see, we'll put that there, and that there. Drawer controller, there you are. Cool, okay. We want to compress iron, coal, lapis, nickel, lead, and gold. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We want to compress seven things, okay. Uh, so let's, let's do this. Let's, um, let's see, insert, insert, can I reach it? Oh, I can. Awesome. All right. Let's grab, uh, each one of these things that we need. Okay. So that we need lead. No, <laughs> that is lead. That's, that's iron lead. There we go. <laughs> Coal, gold. Nickel, Lapis, uh, Prosperity Shards, we should stagger them, yeah, we can do like a high output one with a low output one, that's probably a good idea, we can do like, uh, made those two, and then let's say, uh, Nickel, Coal and lapis here. I think let's see if that works. Okay. Active with that signal. Okay, now what's going on? Oh yeah, look at that. Boom, boom, boom. We got compression going on there. We got some compression going on there. Extract. Active with that signal. Okay, now if we go over here and set this to insert on green, we should. Yeah, because coal's gone. I could pipe this stuff, uh, I could pipe these chunks back up to the smeltery, but I, that just seems inconvenient. I think it would be much better just to have furnaces down here. We have the power down here, we've got the storage down here, so let's just, why not use it? Um, hopefully we've got some redstone over here. <laughs> 14, that's, that's, that's almost enough. We just need two more. Oh yeah, corn time, check out the corn. <laughs> we have double-decker corn. <laughs> very carefully harvest the top row and it'll just keep getting taller and taller and taller <laughs> oh boom 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 I found uh, found an extra piece of redstone awesome okay I don't know why I'm running up here I think I have everything in my hand uh, oh no no I need the iron that's why I'm coming up here as I'm smart I knew what I needed all right okay for these guys oh one recipe makes four <laughs> Jeez, I'm so blind sometimes. Okay, well, let's not do that then. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll uh, stick those aside for right now. Uh, I'll go ahead and put all that stuff back in here. And boom, there we go. Four furnaces. Okie dokie.
All right, so you, nothing goes into that one. 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 This one will be iron. This one will be... No. This one will be... Iron. <laughs> it doesn't matter. This one will be gold. And we'll have lead over here, and we'll have nickel over here. There we go. Okay. Uh, I need to make another round of flat transfer nodes. So let's do that. I need to go grab my anvil. And we take our anvil, we put it there, we take our transfer node, we put it there, and then we get eight! Eight! It's a great deal, it's such a great deal. Things are cheap to make to begin with, the transfer nodes, and then the fact that you can squish one into eight thin ones, flat ones, is just awesome. All right. There we go. Uh, looks like, of course, we want to lock them. And then we put our furnace on top of them. Yep, got our nickel, got little iron, got gold. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I mean, I could use conduits to push it all back in, but I think let's just do like this. This, this is working out well for us. Uh, did I just remove them off of... No, okay. <laughs> it's kind of confusing. Okay. Okay, now, there we go. Um, we got our... Locked up, we got iron, and gold, and lead, and I'll have to get a nickel one here in just a minute. Now, I think all we need to do is put some power to these furnaces, and we will be good to go. And uh, this is the only part that I'm not real thrilled about. It's kind of ugly. <laughs> Coming across here like this. Yeah. I'll figure out a way to hide those somehow. All right, and uh, yeah, so now we are cooking up some nickel. Let me grab that and go give it a home. Four, 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 yeah, awesome. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. I've got auto hammering going on. Auto sifting going on. Or sift, 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 sift. Well, guys, that's all I got time for today. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you had a good time. I sure did. Look at all this good stuff we got done today. We got the auto hammering and sifting and the furnacing. And, oh, man, some storage is so great. I'm so excited. I'm like, I'm in a box of productivity. Look at this. Whee! <laughs> so, any hoozle, guys, thanks so much for coming. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, tell grandma, bring your friends over, whatever it takes. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye! Sky Factory! Woo-woo-woo-woo-woo! Yoko, yoko, yoko!